Hey everybody, today we're playing Noxious's uh, Skellige deck. The deck is pretty standard. I miss the Shield Maidens. I played a lot with them when uh, Northern Realms was really popular. It's still kind of popular, but it's like super popular at the beginning of this current patch with all the trebuchets. You just play these cards and then your opponent's self-activating them. I'm not as a fan of the triple Savage Bears, but... They are, they're very effective at getting rid of Grave Hags, which was his Noxious's uh, number one card he wanted to get out of the game because it was like, how, how dare you play that as your last card? How dare you? <laughs> There's a lot of really powerful last card played kind of things like that. Uh, Grave Hag kind of gets around Coral in a way because it buffs itself up after uh, being applied to Weather. Getting Weather applied to it, excuse me. I've, I've had a lot of luck with this deck. I My only two losses were against Dagon. And one of those losses against Dagon was a s server error. So I think this is a pretty good deck for laddering, even though it was a tournament deck. Uh, I also think that w two war cries is all you need. It's a really bad draw late in the game if you play two get rounds out. Otherwise... Um, yeah, you should never have three war cries in a deck. It just doesn't ever make sense. Having multiple savage bears on the field is also kind of risky, since you usually hurt yourself more than you get anything out of it. It does help you proc the B Raging Berserker to get a Raging Bear that's procced for war cry, since it'll turn into a Raging Bear and then get damaged. So that's, go that's a good combo with a double savage bear. Savage Bears also remove Double Savage Bear also removes Priscilla from play, and a bunch of revive cards if you're playing it the Skellige versus Skellige match. Mm. Without further ado, I'm going to show you some ranked games I played with this deck. I hope you enjoy them. Oh, <laughs> Groover is actually interesting because I have to play around all those scorches. Oh, wow, well, this is a hand. Probably not the best second mulligan, but uh, let's get rid of the real far archer. I'm gonna go. My plan is go Savage Bear into uh, Shield Maidens into maybe Ermion. I think that would be the best combination. You want to thin your deck first before you pull anything with Ermion. The uh, Wily is actually weak in this context unless my opponent's playing a. So what is using the leader? Well, we know he has five silver cards in his deck, so he must have drawn. He had, must have drawn a bronze heavy hand. Is it a dwarf deck I'm up against? Maybe. So against dwarf decks, you want to close it out fast. Yeah. You can manipulate the strengths of your opponent's cards much easier with uh, this kind of deck than others. Be nothing to pick okay. up when That's I'm actually done. bad for us. Um, we don't mind so much. So we're going to play this. I hate that effect a lot. <laughs> it's just so much. It's too much. So our opponent's trying to push us out. It's perfectly normal. Uh, I've got to get this stinking mess in order. Okay. Uh huh. I'm not sure if I want to put it in the C. Uh, well, I can put it in the Cedra. That might even be amusing. Want to get let it hit me a couple times. Before I do anything weird with it, summon my uh, Croc and Crate Warriors. Since they're going to be equal strength. Never have. This is actually ideal for me. Because it allows me to lay uh, longer. Get this stinking mess in order.
Our opponent puts anything into the siege row, they die. it dies. Oh, uh, the weather goes on after. Ooh. I guess they got rid of that combo, which is fine. I don't want that card, so I'm going to put it into the graveyard, draw something else. Now, it's important to note that, that there's 19 strength in that row. Gather, move on, lads. Look alive. We know what our opponent's trying to accomplish. With all this bouncing and reflecting of stuff. This will weaken our opponent's cards even more. If they so choose to play them. to play our cards fairly soon. I was going to play Ermian sooner, but I decided against it. Okay. Well, now we gotta play this. Give our opponent a little bit of a headache to deal with. Okay, we win the round. Now they have two dwarfs that they're only going to hold on to the next round with. Which is perfectly fine for me. It's like, what, am I, what is my opponent going to do with that? It does mean I can't just simply <laughs> pass. No. Yeah. Step away while you can. I can step away pretty fast, my friend. I probably will ditch... The Wily. It is a good card, though. Let's see what Ermian gets me. You if you wish. Mm, get rid of the bear. Get rid of Wily. Because I can revive Wily if I wanted to. From the Bahukis. Huh. Interesting. We could have just passed. That's another thing that we could have just done. Probably was better to not do anything the second round. Yeah. That was my bad. Hmm. We do have a really strong... Uh, play into this round though because we can revive a lot of power We want him to play his other dwarf onto the melee row and we want to remove it. As a poison. Interesting. The goddess protects you from all evil. Everything all right? Don't let anyone's got any hooch left. Mm. 
Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. We'll greet him, we But fire and iron. I should have waited until the next round. Mm. Not passing against the two uh, dwarfs was a weakness of mine. For Because I don't see myself winning this anymore. Bow before modern Freya. Ah, they used to tire my tongue about that. Everything all right? Everything all right. Oh, that was a mistake of my opponents. Any last words? Now I'm one point ahead. My opponent has to play their last card or lose. Anyway, either way, they're not carrying anything into the next round. Uh, I don't have any bad draws, technically. Okay. Saskia is an interesting play. They don't win the game. Actually, playing out this round was beneficial in a sense, because my opponent didn't play around Errol Igni. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's actually the best draw I could get. Uh, I don't think there's a card in Dwarf Scoyatel that can actually beat me out of this. Got it. And I'm going to pull out this because it's the strongest we'll here. Agree to well. fire and iron. Okay. Do you have an 18th strength card, my friend? And if you're mad at me for how I play, it's the Mahakam. Uh, man, that was a that was a close game. My gosh, it was a good game though. Hard, which is what's played in Life Coach's deck from the tournament, and Life Coach played a Queen's Guard deck, I believe. It's nice seeing all the factions. Where, other than uh, Nilfgaard C play in ranked right now. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to Nilfgaard. I think it's just, just the least played competitive break. faction, I guess. For Skelliger's glory! Uh, for Skelliger's glory! <laughs> okay, well, we don't want two Queen's Guard and we don't want that. So we're going to push out a Queen's Guard. We're going to push out a Raging Bear. And we're going to push out. Old old Roach. You want to get Roach out because Roach is a one of, so it doesn't blacklist us effectively. So we're going to open up with the Raging Bear, like usual. Uh, we did not get Superior Wily, so that actually weakens our. Uh, uh, well, we definitely want to get this out of the way as soon as possible. This will thin our deck quite a bit. We can actually play. Uh, actually, uh, this now activates after, I mean, before weather goes on, so it's not a kill, as it used to be. So he's going to copy his um, Queen's Guard, which is fine. We don't mind. We have a strong... Uh, the problem with King Brand is that he's a slow leader. Okay, what is he going to do? That um, actually hurt me as bad as it could have. Okay. What is it? Okay. Uh, 
This is perfectly fine with me. I'm gonna just double the strength here and pass. He's gonna have uh, his hands full if he wants to get out of here. Coral doesn't really hit this row very well. If our opponent doesn't play the Queen's Guard on round one, then he's really going slow. Of course. For Actually, I think no. Uh, I'm thinking of Life Coach's February deck. That's what's going in my head. Prius be the bravest. Which was uh, which is outdated now. So we're gonna pass. If our opponent wants to win, they're gonna have to play at least two cards in any um, reasonable setup. I think part of the goal of this deck is to kill off the Queen's Guard and then take it with uh, Ulderic. We're not gonna give our opponent that option. Oh, that is just unfortunate. Drawing a um, roach like this. Hey, me! Uh, we do not... Well, we'll take that. We need that against opponent's coral. Pansy. Pansy. Okay, I'm going to play roach. Our low... Um, Tempo cards. I know we're not getting as much value out of doing this. You're good. Real good. As we could have, but there's not much we can do. Don't you pester me. Okay, and we pass. We get card advantage and our um get rid of some useless cards. We don't want Roach or um, a Queen's Guard in our hand. It's a bad draw. That's for sure. Okay, we got Ermion, which would have been great um, if I knew I was going to draw him, but you never really know. <laughs> These kind of things. Okay. I'm going to play Ermion. We might, get some, we might get an answer to what we see here. Okay. I think Superior Wily is a pretty good card for what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, uh, we'll drop one of the archers. Uh, it's not, it's not easy to deter. Uh, and we'll drop the King of Beggars because we can revive King of Beggars with uh, Zigfrida what is it? without much issue. Okay, we're now going to play Zigfrida. The goddess protect you from all evil. And we're gonna get King of Beggars. Who do I spy? Uh, get Bow that. before modern Freya. And do we have another bear? We don't. Eh, it's not that bad. We'll use the archer. We can um you Who do I spy? I promise you a quick death. Okay. Probably sh oh, I made a mistake here. That is a useful card though. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Keep together! The sea provides. That's fine. <laughs> Bow before Martin Freya. Don't you pester me. Uh, that's a bug. By the way. I'm expecting that card. 
It's actually better for me to wait as long as possible. So I'm already won the game. Because... Reasons. And that's how you handle that. Now, I would have won either way, regardless of whether I was waiting for the coral or not. I wasn't doing very much math. I'm getting a lot of points from these matches, but it's nowhere near to the 3800 I was at earlier. Until I started playing X-Men Skellige, which I'm not very good at X-Men Skellige, mind you. 